Welcome back to Plumbing College. Today I am going to show you how to do a soundness test of an above ground drainage system using air. The principle is we seal off all the ends and we pump it with air. And if the reading drops, it means we've got a leak. So let me show you. Right, so what we're going to be testing today is a primary ventilated stack system. So this is 40 mil pipe going to a bath. This is 32 mil pipe going to a basin. This is toilet. That's the vent pipe. This pipe goes to the sewage system. Right, the things you need to do an air test, drain test plugs, which basically you turn and they expand a U gauge, a hand bellows. You can normally buy this all as a kit. It's worth spending five minutes just putting all your equipment on a board like this, because that way it avoids the frustration of you knocking it over, pulling a tube out by mistake, and it makes it so much quicker and easier, the testing process. Yeah, so for example, if you don't put it on a balls like I do, it can all be a bit, it could be a bit confusing, like this could fold up, that could come out, so it gets a bit, everything gets a bit tangled up and you could spill the water. You first need to fill your U-gauge up so it's on zero, the water level's on zero both sides. This can be a bit of a fiddly process, So what you do. You pour some water in sort of rock it side to side to let any air bubbles out. Check the reading. You can see it's on about 40. Okay, you have to be patient. Keep doing this. Keep doing it until the water level reads zero. So this, so this is reading just a little bit. Under, so we're going to put a little bit more in, just a little drop more. Put it in, we rock it to get the air bubbles out. Okay. Right, so let's have a look. So let's see if it's sitting on zero. Okay, so that is now that is now on zero both sides. Okay, the key is you tilt it, get the air out. If you do overfill it, you can just get some water out and then do it again. Right, so I like to test my test equipment first before I actually test my system for real. So what I do, I'll just get a piece of pipe. Put the drain plug on one end, the drain plug that I'm going to use, and I'll put another drain plug on the other end that I'm going to use. Okay, so what I'm doing is just put it in the pipe. I'm just doing it nice and tight. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pump up this Okay, this is set to naught. Go pump this up to 38 millimetres. Okay, well, with this one, we need to lock the hose. It's when you pump, you need to lock it to stop any air escaping. Okay, and the water level. The reading should stay at 38 millimetres for three minutes. The equipment's fine, we're ready to actually test it for real. Our drain, so, so far we've mounted our drain test equipment onto a board and we've tested that the equipment's working fine. Right, so what we do now is using the drain plugs, we put a drain plug in, all the open ends. Okay, so we put one here. Okay, so what we do, we put this one in here.
we then need to do, we need to make sure that there's water in the traps because this will also stop the air escaping. with water it's all sealed we can now proceed to start doing the air test so the regulation says we need to pump this up to 38 millimeters and it should the water level should stay at 38 millimeters for three minutes and if it does it's passed the test so let's try it let's pump it up and see what happens it's on zero I'm going to pump it up Let's Right, so we've got a leak somewhere. So we pumped the water level up to 38 millimetres and it's dropping. This means we've got a leak in our system. Leak, there's a leak somewhere on my system. Let's find it. Using dedicated leak detection spray or washing up liquid. Pump, and you spray each joint. Look for bubbles, We're looking for bubbles. Okay. Eventually you will find the one that leaks, which is here. So let's have a look. As you can see, it looks like the rubber's split there. So let's replace this. All right, we replaced it. We'll just make sure there's enough water in the trap. Let's do it again, let's carry out the procedure again. So, pumping it up. Okay, so pump. Right, so that's on 38 millimeters. We now have to wait three minutes. Right, so just while we're waiting for the three minutes to the test period, um, a few things to be mindful of. Okay, so this is 38 millimeter water gauge. Some students mistakenly call it 38 millimeter millibar. That's completely wrong. Okay, so don't use millibar. It's a 38 millimetre water gauge. Um, just for the record, 38 millimetre water gauge is about 3.8 millibar, so just little facts. Um, it can be frustrating looking for leaks. Okay, so before you test, just do a visual check as well. All right, so three minutes are up. Now let's have a look, let's check our water level. The water level has stayed at 38 millimetres throughout the three minutes until it's passed the test. So top tip, when you're building your stack pipe, put one of these in at the bottom as you build it. It will save you taking all your clips out to put in a testing plug at the end. Now you know how to do a soundness test, it's your turn to have a go.